Hello, welcome to question number five. If two fair dice are thrown together twice, we are find the probability of having a sum of seven in the first row and the product of ten in the second row. So uh, for this is more or less like what the Nigerian also have. In that question, I drew the table to show all the possible sample space. So in this question, I won't be drawing the table. I only go ahead and indicate the sample space. If I'm having six, uh, if I'm having a dice that I am throwing, there are six numbers on it, and each of those numbers are going to have a pair of themselves if I throw them. So if I throw them twice, remember I'm holding two of them, I am throwing once. I say I throw one, the first one has six sample space, the second half six. So I'm having a sample space of what? Six by six. So I will not be drawing here. So let's say, uh, let uh, you be the sample space, right? So if that is the case, I will say that for the first throw, what am I going to have? My number of u will now be just 6 by 6, which will give me what? 36. Then we are looking for uh, the sum of 7. So we can just say we let e uh, represent the set of what? Sum of 7. So I'm going to have e representing the set of what? sum of seven we need to have uh the values we have is from one to six so if i'm going to get seven then one and six will give me seven so one for the first row then six in the second one then it means that six and one also is a chance then from there i need two plus five which are all in the sample space so i have the next to be two five which means five one two as well I move to three. I know three, four, right? So I should be having three and four. That also means that four and what? Three. From four, I'm going to five, which already I've mentioned. From there to six, so that will end here. So number of E here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six in here. So therefore, the probability of E, I can just use E, I have represented that. Okay, let me just use the E direct. Equals to number of E over number of what? Sample space. And we have our E here to be 6, 36, which is what? 1 on 6, as simple as that. Then we go on to the second part, which is looking for the second row as a product of what? 10. So let's see, the second row, we still have our U being the sample space. So let me just see, I don't know if I'm to indicate this again, but let's see. The sample space will still be what? Six by what? Six, which will be 36. Then what are we going to do? Since E is used here, we can use a different variable. So let D represent the product of what? Um, 10. That means if I'm looking for the set product, in this case, we know 10, the factors of 10 will be 1, 10, 2, 5. So we only have two numbers that can give us the product of what? Uh, 10, meaning 2 from the first through or on the first die, then 5 on the second, or 5 on the first, and 2 on the second. That means that the number of D will also be uh, 1, 2, 2 out there. So the next is to find the probability of the D. So right from here, I can say that probability of D equals to number of D and divided by the sample space. So as you have 2 divided by what? 36, which is 1 on what? 18, if I can check. Remember what the question is asking for. It's asking for the probability of uh, getting the sum of 7 and 
the product of 10. So to find the probability of sum of 7 and which is what? Multiplication. So product of what? 10. This means that probability of E times probability of what? D as in terms of what? End, which is multiplication. So the value of the first probability, 1 on 6. The value of the second one, 1 on what? 18. 1 times 1 will be 1. Uh, this will be 60 plus what? 48. That will be 108, I guess. So this will give us 108. So the probability as a compound probability end will give you 1 on what? 108. Like, share, comment, and come back for question 6.